Dear all, in this video, I will be explaining how to prepare a technical seminar report effectively. I will promise you, at the end of the session, you will be having a very good idea how to make a seminar report or a technical seminar report very clearly or very efficiently. So please watch this video completely. And also, I have prepared a video on how to make your project report effectively. The link has been available or link has been put up in the description box. You can go through the particular link and study how to make the project report effectively. Let us move into the session. How to make the technical seminar effectively. First and foremost thing, I will be explaining the important steps for preparing technical seminar report. First and foremost thing, you need to collect the cover page format. In the cover page, what are the main, main thing you are supposed to add? In the cover page, you need to add your project title. That is very important. Project title has to be highlighted. Then your name and uh, academic year and color. All those things will be prescribed by the university or college or department, particular department. That is regarding the cover page. That's the first, first step. Second step, you have to collect the format on front page. So in the front page, you need to highlight the title, title of the project, then your name and your supervisor name, name of the supervisor or your project or seminar guide, then your department and college. Those information has to be mentioned in the front page. That is also followed by the college. College will be specified a particular format. You have to follow according to that format. Moving on to third step, certificate page has to be collected. In the certificate page, there will be a particular sentence. For example, this is to certify that Mr. So and so person has completed the seminar successfully and fulfilled the requirement of the course. Likewise, they will be giving a specified format that is also should be collected from the college or university. Here, name of the faculty member or faculty advisor, then seminar coordinator, head of the department, those information has to be specified in the certificate page. Let me move on to the declaration. So declaration format is also followed by the college or university. Then acknowledgement. What is the meaning of acknowledgement? So many persons must be helped in your project or seminar. Okay, definitely their contributions are highly uh, required for completion of the work. So to uh, don't forget to include everyone who, co who contributed in your work. So that is a meaning of acknowledgement. So that is also followed by a particular format or you can mention by your own sentences. Regarding the abstract, what is the importance of abstract? So abstract gives whole information, whole idea about the topic. So what is the topic which is concentrated on which area? If you read the abstract, the reader should get entire information about the project. What is the problem? How you are finding out the problem? What is the methodology? Okay then how you are solving that particular problem, then your approach, all those things should be available in the abstract. It should be precise and it should be written in a simple language. Clear? That is regarding the abstract. Maximum half pages are allowed. Don't add more technical jargon or technical languages in the abstract. Moving on to table of contents. It is regarding how the report has been distributed. For example, some pages you can directly highlight. For example, uh, chapter 1, page number 7, chapter 2, page number 8. Likewise, if you go through the table of content, you will come to know that uh, where the particular chapter is located, where the subchapter is located. Moving on to list of tables. Anyway, you are using so many tables in your seminar report. So it gives the title of the tables. Regarding the list of figures, uh, normally we are using so many figures, so many diagrams, okay, so many graphs etc in your uh, seminar report. So we will be getting the idea about the location of that particular figures. Then some special type of symbols and abbreviations which you will be uh, using in your uh, project. Symbol means for example alpha, beta, gamma, those symbols somebody will not be knowing that particular symbol. So you can directly mention. Similarly abbreviations, some short forms you are using some SPV, solar photovoltaic. Likewise some short forms you are using but uh, it helps for the readers to elaborate that particular sentence. Let me continue. Next is introduction. What is the importance of introduction? So in, in, it has highly 
a crucial role in your seminar report. Let us understand what are the main things which will be included in the introduction. So mainly background of the study, then overview of the topic, scope of studies, methodology, then motivation of the work, all those things should be included. At the end of the introduction, you need to mention the structure of the report. Chapter 1 specifies so and so things. Chapter 2 specifies system description. Chapter 3 specifies or chapter 3 describes the algorithm. Likewise, you have to mention at the end of the introduction, you have to mention the distribution of your report. That is very important. It should be written in a simple language. So anybody is reading, they should understand. Moving on to literature review. What is the importance of literature review? To understand the previous approaches and the methods. Okay. For example, I am using maximum power point tracking algorithms in solar photovoltaic system. So I will be, I'll be using different type of algorithm like filter band observe algorithm, then incremental conductance algorithm, fussy based algorithm. So you can understand different type of algorithm. For that purpose, you can download many papers, many journals, research papers are available. You can download and you can highlight uh, that particular paper and collect so many information so that you will be understanding what are the status of the previous work. For that purpose, we are undergoing uh, or we are going through different literature that is called a literature review. Moreover, you can refer different website also that is also possible. Then regarding the system description, the system description for a, if you are doing electronics or electrical project, block diagram is mandatory. Along with that uh, block diagram, you have to mention the rating also, rating of the components. Then you have to draw the circuit diagram corresponding to that particular block. Each and every block there will be an individual circuit that has to be mentioned. For example, power circuit, control circuit that has to be mentioned. That is regarding the system description. Moreover, if you are doing any IT project, especially you have to mention the algorithm and flowchart, both are required. Okay. Then, if you are doing any electronics project, you have to mention about the design, design of component. Suppose I am doing a converter, buck converter or boost converter. So, how to calculate the value of inductor? How to calculate the value of capacitor? So, that is called design. What are the assumptions you made for the computation? Those things has to be clearly specified in that particular design. So, these are diff uh, different uh, sub-chapters you can mention. Then simulation or graphical analysis. You can use any of the tools like uh, MATLAB or PSCAD. If you are doing any com uh, commerce based project, you have to use uh, Excel, okay, uh, Tally software, many things will be available. So uh, simulation or uh, graphical analysis, you have to use one software and get the result, try to get the result. It is not mandatory, but if you do the simulation in the seminar, that is well and good. Anyway, uh, for your project, definitely you have to do simulation. But seminar also, if you do any kind of simulation or some sort of analysis, that gives more credit. Then pros and cons of the system. That means advantages and disadvantages of the system or methodology. Finally, you are actually making the conclusion. So what are the things you will be adding uh, conclusion? Summarize very briefly in a simple language. It should be in a plain language. Everybody should understand how important do you think about the topic is? Does this work make significant contribution? And you are highlighting the main findings. So these are all the things which should be included in the conclusion. Maximum half pages. If some technical projects, you can mention the conclusion with the technical values. For example, efficiency, 98% of efficiency, regulation, voltage drop. Likewise, you can mention different type of uh, Parameters also has to be uh, clearly mentioned, especially if you are dealing with the technical seminars. And the references. Regarding the references, it has to be mentioned in the IEEE format. Okay. In a body, body of the seminar, you are quoting the reference. For example, 3, 4, likewise you will be quoting with the help of a square bracket. So same thing should be reflected in the reference page. For a technical seminar, at least you can mention almost 25 plus reference papers. Reference paper... Uh, the especially conference or journal paper, you can mention the website. Moreover, you can uh, mention the books also. Some popular textbooks you can mention. Okay, what and all the things you referred that has to be very clearly specified. Okay, because you will be collecting so many information from papers, then websites, uh, textbooks. That has to be clearly mentioned. Okay, these are the different uh, steps which are involved in the uh, technical seminar.
let's conclude the session in the part one uh, the video part one video i have explained how to prepare a technical report effectively with the proper steps okay these are the different steps which are involved and i have explained the importance of each and every steps also in the next session i'll be explaining about different guidelines for preparing technical seminar report those guidelines will be really helping you out how to make your report in a perfect manner so please stay tuned i'll be uploading that particular video soon that you can watch and update your knowledge finally thank you very much for watching this video